Avast, look ye there, he's got the treasure. Arr. Hello everyone and welcome to another Halu Sees It review. Today I'm reviewing Jump Ship. It is a new line in a new line from Game Right Games um, called Card Adventures. Uh, this is the second one, as you can see here. Uh, the first one was an alien themed, alien space themed um, card venture. And basically, what this game is, is it is a little storytelling adventure uh, that is one of it. It's similar to those novels of pick your own uh, path type things. So, um, I don't know how many of you read those books. You read, a few, you know, through a few chapters. And then you'll be given a choice and you'll say, you know, open the door or um, continue to search the room or something like that. And you'll choose and then it will tell you go to page 97 or something like that. Well, this is a very similar idea, but with cards. And the object of this little adventure is that you are a pirate and you're looking to... Uh, put up the anchor and retire out of uh, pirateering. But you are out for one last adventure and you are in the hunt for treasure, obviously. And so what you have here is you have a few different um, decks of cards that come in the box. Uh, it's a nice uh, little box here. And just to give you a reference as well, um, so Game Right has uh, another very popular uh, little storytelling uh, type line called Story Cubes, Rory Story Cubes, and there's all sorts. This is the original one here. You have Voyages. There's like a fantasy one, I think. They've, they've come out with like a Batman themed one. And what, it, what those entail are just a bunch of dice and with pictures on all the different sides. And so there's lots of different ways to play this. It's very kind of freelance, open to your interpretation. And really it's just kind of fun to roll these dice. You have lots and lots of different combinations uh, to make up stories. You can you know change the order, everything. So I really, really enjoy this. Um, these card ventures, um, a little bit different, and my first, honestly, my first reaction to it was, you know, I, I, I wasn't too, uh, didn't get too sucked into it, if that makes sense. I, we just kind of went through the motions. Um, I just, I kind of did it with my wife. Um, uh, for the first time, we just kind of went through it. And I don't know, it just, it was back and forth, you know, you flip over the cards and, um, I don't know, I just wasn't too engaged in it. But then I played this game with my kids, my four-year-old and my two-year-old, and they just had a completely different reaction to it. They really enjoyed it, and uh, it made me think of really what is the reason behind this uh, line of games right here. And it's really to get the kids excited uh, about reading. And I think that this card venture line does just that. Um, I think it is very, very good for that. Um, I I didn't find myself enjoying it as an adult as much as the Rory Story Cubes because I was creating and uh, you know using my imagination to create up these stories with the kids. Um, these, however, have cards that. Uh, is the story so you're reading through a story but you are making choices and so we played through with the kids and I had my kids decide you know all the choices and uh, we read through it and you know some of these cards are pretty funny and so the kids had a really really fun time with it so I think it was very successful for the kids um, just to give you kind of an idea um, of you know how it plays out and everything the game comes with three cards double-sided uh, that has the instructions 
Um, it just kind of gives you the layout of the game. Really, the game is very, very simple. I love the fact that they used cards uh, for the instructions as well, um, so that you're not dealing with some rule book. Um, it, it's simple enough, and I really enjoy that they did this. On the very back of those cards uh, gives you kind of the goal card. So during the game, you're making choices. You're trying to obtain gold. And however the game ends, you're going to end up at Mermaid Beach. Um, hopefully alive. And uh, so you look through here, and you look at your gold, and you get a rank. So there's kind of this goal, and you can kind of measure yourself how well you guys did. Um, but just to look at this, so this is your ship here. And you're in this bay with these three other pirate ships competing for uh, this treasure. And so you read through here just to give you an idea of kind of the text of the cards. Um, as you survey your ship, you discover that the other pirates have stolen all of your gold. But don't worry, with all of their ships anchored next to you in Bedlam Bay, you'll steal it back in no time. Sneak aboard the briny turtle. Or do you swing over to the Crimson Cannonball? So let's just uh, go ahead and uh, sneak over to the Briny Turtle. And so we come over here. Now I've kind of stacked this. So if you, if you, what you basically do is you come over here, flip the deck over, and quickly find the number without really paying too much attention to uh, your the other things on the card. You're just going to look up there. Um, so anyway, this is number 10 though, so you find that. So in, some of them have illustrations, um, little pictures and everything on there. Um, the quality of the cards, very, very nice. They're nice, very nice quality cards. I really like them. They have a very smooth finish uh, to them, uh, but they're nice and thick, um, good quality cards. Um, so this one says, you make your way to the briny turtle and find a beautiful treasure chest sitting there, ripe for the taking. You can't wait to get your hands on the gold inside, but you'll have to wait because it's locked. So what do you do? Do you search for a key or try to break it open by jumping on it? Maybe we're a little impatient and we decide to jump on it, to try to open it. Okay. So, we look for number five. Uh-oh. Squid vicious. You're frozen in midair when suddenly a giant tentacle rises from the water, catches you, and hurls you toward the crimson cannonball. Okay. So then you would go look for this ten, and the game continues. And so far, we don't have any gold yet, so that's no good. So we'd want to continue on. Trying to make these choices, trying to get as much gold as we can. Um, and that's really the game uh, in a nutshell. The other thing that I will explain is some of these cards have this little dolphin on it. And basically what that happens, uh, happens then is they've made this little uh, device here. So if you've already utilized this card and it's in your pile, and later you get a card that... It basically ends the game, takes you back to Mermaid Beach. Um, instead, what you can do is you can give up this card here with the dolphin uh, and discard that, get it out of the game, and you can continue to go. And you would just draw a random uh, card from this deck, your starting deck, and keep going. So it's, you know, it's it's a device there. You're giving up two gold. You're not going to have that at the end of the game. But it gives you the chance to get more gold. Um, so that's that's a pretty cool idea, I think. And really, you can kind of go through a lot of these cards. Um, but all these other ones are numbered. Uh, this deck is uh, the only one that's a little bit different in the fact that there's no numbers here. So these are all shuffled random. Um they have gold in them, but there's definitely, I mean, this is the deep waters here, so there's definitely some not-so-good things lurking in there, like sharks and big squids. Uh, but there's some treasure and all sorts of stuff there. So that's kind of a random deck that goes with the game. So 
Uh, final thoughts on jump ship, uh, kind of as I, I've described it, it is a very, very engaging storytelling uh, adventure for kids. And I think that uh, any kids can really get to uh, enjoy this. Uh, you get them into reading, um, and it's that very interactive uh, choice uh, making, you know, they're developing the story. Um, so it is a little bit more written, um, but that's part of the fun with this one as well. It's very theme, very thematic uh, storytelling. And I know they're planning on coming out with a few more of these. Uh, so if you, you know, if your kids aren't into pirates or uh, they may be into space or aliens, and if they aren't in that, uh, I don't know the themes um, that they're coming out with next, but keep your eye open uh, for the Card Venture uh, line series that will be coming out from Game Right Games. Uh, and that is how Lou sees it.